Running to get the homeless out of the snow and cold, a local man beat his own demons and is now on a straighter path to help. New at 6, Highway News News reporter Walt Pinto has this week's street story. Chris Keegan's raised about $10,000 running marathons for the homeless, but his whole life has been a marathon. Number 40 was a soon-to-be college graduate from Somerset and a blur on the field. Tell me about that guy, though. Who's uh, that guy? That's, that's you? That's me. That's me, yeah. <laughs> that's when I was fast. <laughs> fast and stupid. <laughs> but he could not outrun his own history. Raised by alcoholics, abused by a babysitter. From the outside, he was successful. Inside, there was pain. The facade crumbled when a restraining order violation put him in the ACI for three weeks. Then a cellmate named Danny served something even more sobering. He told me that he was in because he, he murdered his girlfriend. I was in a blackout, uh, drinking and drugging, and I choked her to death. It was like looking at myself, and I said, if I don't stop drinking and you know, doing drugs, I'm going to end up just like this guy. After he was free, he was homeless. All he had was $300 and a car. It was a Ford Tempo, white with red interior. <laughs> what was it like to put your head down in that Ford Tempo and think to yourself, this is my home? Well, I didn't think of it as my home. Uh, I thought of it as just a place temporarily. He says forgiveness fueled his recovery through Alcoholics Anonymous. An addiction to hard work built his fitness business, and success motivated Geegan to raise money by running for the homeless. Now he also wants to help addicts before they end up living behind bars or in a Ford Tempo. I'm giving back now. I'm able to give back. He wants to tell his story to others. To find out more, log on to our website, and we'll link you to his. On Main Street in Warren, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.